So today we're talking about impact, and there are so many things you can think about at the moment when you're about to hit the ball, but there are some big separators between really good golfers and those who really struggle hitting good shots. So at Golf Tech, we've measured hundreds of thousands of swings. We really know what it takes to get better. Now, there are a couple of measurements that we use in all these lessons that will help you understand if you're having a problem hitting the ground in the right spot or just hitting really low shots. First one is hip sway. So the golfers with the highest handicaps on average have their hips a little further away from the target than where they started, almost a half of an inch. That makes it more challenging to hit in front of the ball. That can make it complicated to hit an iron shot off the ground in particular. Meanwhile, the golfers who are really good at the game, the lowest handicaps, have their hips further towards the target than where they started by a two inch difference between the best golfers and those who struggle the most. This is almost the biggest separator in golf. Meanwhile, there's such a, a fallacy or misunderstanding about why you need your hips way towards the target. A lot of people believe that when they have their hips towards the target, the shots go low. It's really the exact opposite of that. The best golfers have their hips more towards the target. They also tilt their shoulders about 39 degrees to the right. That's that green line projected. Meanwhile, the golfers with the highest handicaps only tilt their shoulders 20 degrees to the right. It's that hip sway and the shoulder tilt that really enable you to hit really high, long shots that are very predictable. So it's cool to know this graphic. It's neat to see this, but really you need to practice how to get better at this. So let's go over to the mat and see how you can improve your game right now. So you can see here Patrick's wearing our motion measurement system. That's going to help him realize how close he is to the target with the sways and how close he is to the tour average swing. So take a look at that graphic up there. You don't want to be like the red golfer. The red golfer on the follow through would keep the hip sway and that sensor really close to the shaft I'm holding up. That's a big no-no for trying to hit long straight shots. His shoulders and hips are also very level to the ground. That's the demonstration of the worst golfers. Don't do that. Meanwhile, the best ones, as they hit the ball, would continue to move their hip sensor and their hips away from the shaft and towards the target. He's also got his shoulders tilted slightly to the right, too. That's the form of good players. So a really good way to practice that would be to set up as you normally do, push your hips towards the target, push the butt end of the club towards the target, and just chip the ball down the fairway, keeping your shoulders tilted to the right in the follow-through, just like he's done here. Now that's a really good place to start, but ultimately you need to start hitting these balls harder and faster trying to recreate that same feel. So that's the form expert golfers use. You see them displayed on TV every single week on the PGA Tour. So learning how the hip sway and the shoulder tilt will help your game is really important, but the best way for you to get better at the game is to find a local golf tech coach near you and get your swing measured.